<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. But no, I was saying about dreams. I would have like when I would detox from like a fucking booze extravaganza, and I would, I would have dreams. That's why I was intrigued because I would have fucking crazy dreams where I would be. It would be so lucid. I want to hear Riders in the Storm right now. Riders on the storm. I can sing. <laughs> Riders on the storm. Wait, that was like a, a like a mixed version. Yeah, it was, it was like, like a f elevator DJ, on mushrooms, like DJ version. So you would detox. I would detox, and I'd have these dreams, and they were so lucid. And I'd be like walking around the dream, and I'd be, and I would know I was dreaming, and I couldn't wake myself up, and I would try to wake myself up. So then I would try to like jump, dive out of a window to wake myself up, or try to like do something that will like jar me awake, and then I would do it. And then I would wake up, and then I would be in another fucking dream. Dude. And I'd be in my bedroom, and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go up and get some water. And then I, all of a sudden I'd realize, oh, my God, I'm still in the dream because this isn't the shit on my walls. Whoa. And I'd have to wake myself up again. <sighs> fucking gnarly, dude. Like you psyched yourself out in the dream. Yeah, you're like, I got to wake up. You're like, yeah, hey, you can wake up, wake up. Oh, look, you're awake. You're yeah. Awake, but it was really just more dream. You're awake, psych. <clears throat> dude. Yeah, so that's why I was kind of fascinated by that. It makes you wonder what is real if you could live in a perpetual dream What's going on there? You're still there's something happening. You're experiencing things It's just, things are happening whether you're lying there with your eyes closed or not There's a bunch of shit that's going on a bunch of experiences that your senses are taken in that are pretty fucking remarkably similar to real life Right like that's why it's so crazy because it feels real right? That's why dreams like especially lucid dreams trip you out because it feels real it feels real, but I like that, like, when you dream, like, a really weird dream, you just accept the reality of, like, like, when I remember a dream, I'll be like, yeah, I just totally was in this dream and just accepted that I was, like, riding a rabbit, you know what I mean, like, over a fucking skyscraper to, like, save Katy Perry's face or something. You know, we I don't... I just totally accept it. I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Look at that fucking beard, that fabulous Morrison beard. People didn't have beards back then, either. When he, had, he grew this beard, the Be video is him and a... A fucking beautiful old Mustang being a bad motherfucker. Yeah, beards were like considered rogue back then. Oh, yeah, he was that was he was as rogue as it came, man. Dude he used to pull his dick out on stage, went to jail for it. He's driving to the Tempe Improv right there. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he was gonna go see Joey. How do we know what really goes on when you're asleep for eight hours? How do we know when you're out cold, when you you're out, right? How the fuck do we know what's actually happening? What's going on in these, these dream states? Because you only remember a fraction of the time you're out, right? There's a fraction of the time. What if dreams aren't fake? What if they're just some alternative reality that you occasionally intermingle with when you're conscious or unconscious, rather? Like when you go into a dream state, maybe that's just like the shadow of something that just happened that was real. Maybe you have like these these moments that seem like eight hours to you or five hours to you, but you're really interfacing with some completely different timeline and some completely different reality. And the world is pliable. It's not locked down like rocks aren't rocks and water isn't water, but everything's fluid and changing constantly. And that's why when you're in these dreams, you freak out because all of a sudden, like the physics of reality are gone. You're I've walking like snapped walls. too into it, maybe. Yeah, but you, there might be a war. Look, just the fact that this world exists in the state that it exists in. This world is very, very bizarre. Right. If it wasn't real, like if this, if reality wasn't real, if we all lived in some sort of a black and white print version of life. And then you got to experience the life that you and I know, this doing stand up and being in LA and flying in planes and using the internet and experiencing life in the 21st century in 2017. You would be like, this is the craziest psychedelic trip. If you went to Times Square, right. and you, had never, you had never experienced anything like human culture. And you went to Times Square, you would be freaking the fuck out. Yeah, that'd be insane. It would be insane. We're just so used to it. We're so used to it. We don't realize how bizarre the actual world is. Well, so yeah, I mean, it's if, possible that these dream worlds, that these are just different worlds that you tap into when you conk out. Every night is every a different night world. Could be, could be infinite. Could be you're running a series of lives. Like you have multiple lives going on, and your decisions you make in this conscious life affect all of them. And maybe you have other lives when you're asleep that are conscious when you're awake, but much like you're asleep and you don't remember what the fuck is going on 
when they're asleep, they don't remember what the fuck is going on. And you interface. You might not just be Nick Swartzen, stand-up comedian. You might be an entity that interfaces with multiple different dimensions in the night. And you just fuck. don't remember it, just like you don't remember sleeping. Right. You don't, you don't remember dreaming. You don't remember a lot of shit that happens when you're conked out for eight hours, right? Well, they probably don't remember when you're awake. And you're, you're interfacing. You're not just shutting off. Like, your, your brain wants to, everything needs to shut off so that your other self in this other dimension can interact and can go about its, its world. And maybe eight hours to it is a month or a week to us. We don't even fucking know. Maybe that's a huge, important part of being a person, is that other world has to, has to coincide with it. Maybe that's why Michael Jackson died. Because they gave him that shit that conked him out. That didn't, you don't dream under that shit. They would basically put him under anesthesia every night, and he wouldn't get to interface with the other world. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> 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 no, you never know. I might have got, with... got too high. <clears throat> I'm I'm fascinated by dreams. They fucking are weird, man. But I mean, yeah, that maybe they do mean something. Maybe there's another. Most likely not. I mean, Most yeah, I think maybe I'm just covered in spiders and screaming. <laughs> I think that's basically well, you could work, literal. You work out stuff in your dreams sometimes. Like you'll experience something I work out stuff, but I don't, I don't work out in ever? dreams. I never go to the gym in dreams. That's a good point. I've never fucking ever worked out in, in a dream. I've never done that either. That's fucking crazy. I just I realized to, that. I used to throw kicks in my dreams. I used to, like, when I was young, especially, like, girlfriends would complain. I would, like, twitch. I would, like, literally, like, throw a kick. Like, remember when <laughs> Bill Burr made jokes about it? Like, it sounded like a Bruce, Bruce Springsteen song? Throwing kicks in the night? <laughs> it was that's like a, an old Ice House Chronicles. We went on a whole rant about it. That's but it's an really amazing true. Springsteen song. A lot of guys have that problem. Like, fighters have that problem. 